up, and good God, what a fantastic game it was. We're going to be seeing game number two going down right here, right now. We're going to go ahead and play a commercial to support Ember TV a little bit, to support some things that we've got rolling. So please hang out. We'll be right back with some more freaking action that you can't take your eyes off of. Dude, dude, bazooka. Fucking nuts, bro. Oh, hey, hey, keep the uh, keep the language down a little bit, man. But yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Absolutely <laughs> crazy. Absolutely. Whew. Freaking, freaking nuts. Yeah, that's that's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, mom. You should be. So I missed that last little bit. I had to grab a soda. Who won that? Um, it was, uh, it was Cole Trimaster who took the win there, and I gotta say, man, that was a really, really intense game. Uh, we're now into the next one. I'm gonna be suggesting for you to join. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, jump in on me. Let me go and get you that invite here, Mr. Mole. All right, all right, all right, dude, I just... I'm really like, uh, I'm in shock and awe about this. Now it looks like uh, Rise is going to go ahead and uh, start talking to uh, Trimaster about these, about what, what we saw in that last one. Um, let's go ahead and ask these guys if they want to get started. All right, all right, so. GG all the way across the sky. Cole Rise is ready. Try Masters ready. Good luck. Have fun. And GG. Oh, yeah. Happening right now as we start this game. Getting it rocking and rolling. Me and Bazooka Benji going to be taking over, rocking this one. Taldarium Altar is going to be our next map. Let's do it to it right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pros and scrubs, welcome to Emma TV, where everything is imbalanced. I am MCDS. With me is Bazooka Benji. We got game number two underway as we see Trimaster sitting with that one point, man, and spawning up here in the top right-hand corner of Taldarium Altar. Uh, he's going to be uh, the Green Terran once again, man, and he's going to be supporting that Dominion to a wholehearted extent. I mean, we saw nukes in that last game. Um, we saw a lot of ghosts, we saw some tanks, and uh, you know, it, it, Cole Trimaster just uh, plays like a boss. Now, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, we do have Rise. He's currently sitting on a donut. He needs to turn this around for himself. It is a best of three, people, so with it being a best of three, that means that uh, if, he le if, if Trimaster is able to take the win in this next game, then it's going to be a little bit unfortunate here for Rise because he's going to be knocked out. Yeah, that will be unfortunate. But uh, hopefully we can pray for an ace match, and uh, either way, we got a match right here, fresh and starting, and uh, I'm sure Rise is going to uh, learn from last game and try to um, work on his timing a little bit more, because you do have to remember that last game being a long one, um, he did kind of get caught with his pants down in the beginning right. with that rush. He lost all of his drones, like you said. It was a great timing by um, Trimaster, and uh, this time I think he, uh, he'll... he'll take heed from last game and maybe uh, it'll be more of a fair uh, you know mid game this time. It very well could be now um, I, I hope we see some really early aggression. Trimaster always kind of leaves himself uh, with a few marines at all times inside of his base but uh, there's certain points when he gets up to his uh, you know his third racks, fourth racks, fifth racks that he builds after expanding that he's a little bit vulnerable I mean that is a perfect window to try to aggress against him. Now he always goes with some wall off fashion builds um, we do see him with that supply depot in the front and the barracks in the back. It looks like he's really in that comfort zone here um, while fighting against, you know, his own teammate. So uh, let's see what complexities Rise has got to say to this. Now, he sent out a very early drone, and he will be laying down his 15 expand. We do see that hatchery now morphing in the natural. It looks like the SCV is on its way out to do a little bit of scouting. It will go up in that uh, counterclockwise positioning as it looks like Rise will finish up and find where his opponent is and see everything that's going down. Now Trimaster is going to start off with a Reaper play. And uh, this Reaper play seems to always 
always do a little tidbit of damage, mainly for scouting. And, uh, and it always gets beat up, you know, Ryze always takes out that Reaper. Yeah, it seems that uh, that would be his common strategy. We would see him go to a Reaper and then uh, throw down a second command center. And then from there he would throw down more barracks and transition into more of a bio-marine marauder play while expanding. Um, so far that's kind of been his MO. It seems to be a build that he's comfortable with. Uh, Rise, meanwhile, will be just sticking to what he likes, which is a... Uh, spawning pool gas into a fast expand and uh, hopefully this time uh, last time he had the uh, zerglings out in time to deal with the raper it looks like he will again um, there we see uh, trimaster throwing down that um, expansion um, as I predicted and we should probably see after the reapers if they get taken out by the zerglings um, which we it, lo it looks like uh, the speed will be a little bit slower than normal but um, it should be coming down soon and once the speedlings are out they usually do a good job do a good job taking care of the reapers and uh, it looks like a couple of barracks being thrown down in the front for trimaster and uh, an engineering bay as well, so he will be trying to get those early upgrades. Be yeah, very sorry nice to for interject yeah, quick, but uh, DDE won't beat Lobber 2 1 in the other game for the semis. Ah, so he's moving, so DDE's moving on into the finals again then. That's what you're saying. Yes? Uh, yeah, yeah, that okay. would be what that means. Alright, man, I'm just uh, clarifying out there for everybody. Um, as we do see these uh, Reapers now doing some damage, they will take out that Creep Tumor, uh, jumping up the cliff now as they beat down some of these Zerglings. Um, you know, they're on very low health here. One more shot by anything, it looks like they're going to get taken out. As we do see 5 health for one, 10 health for the other. Um, and it looks like the uh, Metabolic Speed Boost is underway here from Ryze, as it looks like he will be bumping out a few more Zerglings to fight this off. Now he's going to be chasing them down, and those Reapers just barely get out of there, man. So fast, so agile, so nice. As we do see that three racks block off situation here from Trimaster once again. He is going to be continuing with his four racks play, also getting down that level one attack upgrade. And look at these Reapers, man. Yeah, they have three kills duffs, and they, uh, they're they dancing their little silhouette, but they are low on health, and I wouldn't be surprised if they both die, which they do. And uh, at this point, hopefully, um, what we need to see here is that Ryze drones up and gets comfortable with his economy and tech, but you know that as push is coming right after this with a bunch of Marines and Marauders, just like we saw last game, and hopefully he's ready for it this time. It looks like he'll be putting down some Baneling nests and in addition to Evo Chamber so he can get his upgrades going, which is good, but what I'd really like to see this time is maybe a few roaches or something, or some, maybe a few more spine crawlers or something with a good hit point amount to absorb the damage that is about to come his way. That's right, man, because we all know Trimaster, he wants to push on with that early aggression after he gets the stim, after he gets that uh, combat shield underway, and the level 1 attack, dude. It is going to be a very, very mean push. Ooh, and the stim is done. The supply depot is down. The Marines are mobilized here as they continue to move right across the map. They will be moving right up into Ryze's uh, base, and I gotta say, man, Ryze is getting down some static defenses. He's gonna start moving this up. He's gonna be laying down some injections here on his natural and continuing with the production. Also getting the level one attack for the melee and the centrifugal hooks. But I don't know, dude. I I just don't know. I mean, Trimaster, he's got a he's got a superior force right now on the table. Well, it looks like this time Ryze. Taking my advice, as soon as I said that, putting down three spine crawlers, he will have those queens pumping out some zerglings. Uh, if he does some good transfusions on the spine crawlers, he may be able to keep them alive. He does have a, is that a baneling or is it a, yeah, it looks like a baneling, so um, he will have some explosive power as well. Uh, it looks like at this point, Trimaster just going to uh, scout around, make sure there's no third base, and uh, see what the expansion status is of Ryze's army. Meanwhile, Ryze is going to be uh, moving his zerglings out into the middle, and uh, hopefully uh, the no, I wonder, yeah, um, right now the Zerglings are running past toward the main and the Marines, oh, one Baneling, oh, flanking, oh, bam, catching the Marines out of position, surrounding them and taking them out. This time, as I have said, he is ready and he will not let a repeat of last game happen. That's exactly right. Oh my god, we follow the Zerglings and find that he's got a Nidus network 
No, that is not my kitten. That is a real unit in StarCraft 2. As that Nidus will be going down. Oh my god, the Banelings are morphing. Bazooka Benji. He's got I was it. Gonna He's going to point out the Nidus, but I uh, didn't want to interrupt you. You were on a roll with your casting, so <laughs> I was just going to let you finish that. Uh, well, look at this, man. He's got this Overlord over here at the bottom right hand corner of Trimaster's base. Trimaster's not seen it. There is enough area to lay down that Nidus, and he, you can just barely see the ground leveling out. And oh, man, this Nidus Worm is coming out into fruition as we see all the Zerglings and Banelings now loaded up. It's a total of four pages here in the Nidus. The Nidus Worm breaks out of the ground. The Banelings are rolling now, and it looks like he l lists up these supply depots, not allowing them to go into the natural, but they will go into the main. Three Banelings will take out a lot of SCVs, and it looks like the Zerglings and the uh, the Banelings are going to be moving forward. They take out those supply depots. The Banelings now moving up and around. They will go right into this natural expansion mineral line taking out oh my god so many scvs going out complexity trimaster now losing a lot of his uh, a lot of his scv count 32 scvs now down in this and yes a lot of zerglings and banelings lost their lives but oh god another big payoff as we see a lot of marines going down more zerglings coming out of the snidus as it does as they do flood right into that mineral line zuka this was a very successful nidus worm and i'll tell you Trimaster wasn't expecting it the least bit. Oh, he was not, and I'm loving it, and I'm loving it like a McDonald's Happy Meal, bro. And I've seen a lot of tournament play, and a lot of the casters that know what they're talking about always say that usually the reactive player wins, and it seems that Rise has reacted to the build that he encountered last game, and he has found a perfect counter to it, Absolutely. and it has worked, and he will be moving on to the ace match if I am not mistaken. I don't like calling games ahead of time, but let's look at the unit count. I'm moving over here, and we have 57 drones to 24 SEVs. Uh, Trimaster does have the third up and running with quite a few mules, so I'm not going to count him out of this one yet, but I'm going to say that uh, Ryze does have his third up. He will be saturating that with drones, and it's looking a lot better than it did last game. Like I said, I'm looking forward to the mid game, and uh, looking good. Looking good looking good like a movie star that's right it is man now look at that one marine patrolling back and forth yelling at that overlord like come at me bro i'm at five health you can't do anything about it now we do see this as uh, now we do see the queen now moving back into this new expansion by rise and a lot of drones being transferred over uh marines are out loosely fitting across the map as we do see the zerglings now nomming them to hell and it looks like a lot of hamburgers being made out of those uh, marines as these zerglings now moving forward the mutas now shooting their glaive worm all over the face of the these drop chips. There are Hellions now locked, loaded, and moving forward. There are some spy crawlers doing some initial dampening damage um, against these forces. And it looks like Trimaster will get one Hellion in there. The blue flame not as effective as it used to be. It will take down the Zerglings here that were working on the back rocks. It will only take out a few drones. Now, Trimaster, he's in a, a bit of a pickle, I'd have to say here, man. I mean, uh, we're going to see another expansion go down from Rise here uh, momentarily as we do see these rocks going to be taken out. They are at very low health. And uh, Trimaster, you know, he's trying to give it what he can. And I'm not counting him out yet, of course, because he's a fantastic player. So uh, I'm looking forward to what he's going to be able to do. But I don't know, man. I got to say, Rise, he's, uh, he's doing a great job in this game. Yeah, he really is, and we're seeing the difference between last game is that he has a pretty formidable Muta Force. Um, looking at about 18 Mutas on the field right now, and if he can go around and get some good uh, harassment going on, he could really put a dent in um, what Trimaster is trying to do as a recovery from that Nidus Worm earlier. Uh, there is a good amount of uh, turret coverage, uh, especially at his natural, but if he could go to the third, Ooh. there's only too spaced uh and do we have something that i'm missing here no that's exactly i was just going ooh because there's not many turrets up there in that nat or in that third base and and you know he's got an, he's almost got enough mutas just to go in and take out those turrets without losing any mutas you know so it's very worrisome here for uh trimaster i feel yeah, just as long as he doesn't do a direct engagement with the Marines dropships while they're stemmed, which is about to happen, so hopefully, yeah, he, he's smart, he knows, uh, here, here come the Banelings though, and this should be perfect, he should be able to squash this force. 
And it looks like he's going to as the split goes down. The Mute is now working on the loose fitting Marines. Uh, Marines now being taken out all over the place. As we do have the Hellions now moving into this third or this fourth base. Um, well, it's actually the third base here. Uh, going to be taking out a lot of those drones. And now Bailing's coming in. The Mutas will go ahead and clean this up. And good God, we've got a lot of Mutas out on the field right now from Complexity's Rise. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at that unit counting station. 25 total Mutas.